Hello guys, today I'll be showing you how to make an API, REST API in PHP. So it's very easy, you can make an API within few minutes just by following me. So what we will do is, first we will create a database. I already have a database. I'll be showing you how to make it. So let's go to PHP admin. You can use, it doesn't matter you use VAMP, XAMPP or any other local host. I'm using UVAMP because it gives a very nice UI so it's very comfortable for me so we'll go to PHP my admin create new database and you can create new database or you can use the already one you have so I have this database called course over here there are a few tables over here we'll select categories now we will go to a github repository and there so this is the repository and you will find it there if you find a file over there you just download this down into zip i already have it but still i'll do it once you get this file it's in a zip format you have to extract it and you will find all these files over here these are not necessary for you you just need one file that is api.php just copy it all right now uh, let's go to the server which you, I mean the folder where your site relies. So for example, I'll go to YouTube. You can have anything, you can create a new folder, for example, demo. All right, and I'll paste the file over here. Now what you have to do is you have to open this file, drag down, and here there are few commented lines so we have to uncomment this line because we are using mysql server if you were using sql server or post gre sql or sqlite server you have to uncomment them this way so currently we are using mysql server so i'll uncomment this now we have to type the username user name of my php admin is root password is root and database the database is the one we created over here mine one is quotes so i just copy it and have it here now let's go to that folder so demo was the name of our folder the name of our file api.php slash now what i want is i want the data from categories table so let's just type categories So here you go, you'll get a JSON output of the data you have in a very nice manner. And now there is a full documentation on how to use this file in many various different ways. So let's go to this list and transform. This says list all the records of database table and transform them into objects. So what you have to do is you have to just add this parameter in your URL. Let's do it. As you can see, everything is transformed into an object and it looks much better. Now let's suppose uh, I just want a category whose ID is 11. So for that, we'll go to filter, right? Now we need equal filter because we, are com we just want one thing, right? So equals to, so what we will do is filter the name of the table, EQ, that is equals, and it equals to what so let's do it filter equals to name of the table i sorry i mean name of the uh, column that is id id equals to eq comma four so here you go you just get one record where the ID matches for. Now suppose you want data whose ID is greater than something. So you will use this greater or equal to or greater than. So if you want just greater than that number, we will use GT. So for example, I want a category whose ID is greater than, let's say 60. So as you can see, you're getting data from 61. Similar way, there are lower than 
lower or equals to between and much more things you also have pagination support you can also create new data with the json array and without json array as well you can read multiple data you can update you can delete the data and there are various things so this is very easy you can maintain the relationship relations between tables and much more all right guys if you liked it please subscribe like it comment it and share it to your friends thank you so much for watching